Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your general reading for May 2024. If you just stumbled upon my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. Before recording, I meditate with spirit and then I share with you what visions and messages came through. And Sag, this is what spirit had to show me. Um, the first thing I saw was someone stepping up from the pavement into, you know, a car, an SUV, a car. And I heard leaving all that is familiar behind. <laughs> um, it sounds like, you know, road trip, uh, moving, relocation. Um, hmm. I'm hearing something about your roots and reestablishing your roots. Then I heard, I heard just several phrases. It was really bizarre. So some of these may resonate um, in totality. Some of them, you know, you can just leave it. But I heard reinventing yourself, reinventing your life, a change of scenery. Then I heard chosen family. Interesting. You know, sometimes for some people, blood is not thicker than water, right? You know, you may be thinking, I will feel welcomed by, you know, that group of people. A friend has been saying, hey, move here, um, leave that one horse town you're from, get out, break out. It could be something like that. Um, the last thing I heard is, you know where and by whom you are appreciated. <laughs> so Sagittarius, let's find out what's going on here. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cross, cross watcher spirit. What do you have for Sag? Wow, hollow bone teachability. To me, this carries with it some strong karmic energy. It feels like you've been, um, you know, prepared for something. Maybe you are learning something or sharing something with another person. This could be the end of a cycle. All right, let's see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius. Oop, we have a rogue card. Should I look at it? A new romantic cycle begins. <laughs> Okay, jeweled web connectivity. This is who you're connected to, what you're involved in. Um, maybe, you know, you've felt ensnared in something. We have drifter experiencing life as it comes. And Spirit said, you are being very intentional about where you're going, which is why it kind of came out reverse. So I'm going to take it that way. You, I, I don't think you're wandering aimlessly. I think you know exactly where you're going. Exactly where you're going. Yes, look at this. You know where you, you're wanted and appreciated by, you know, where and by whom. Look at that. The power of communities surrounding yourself with supportive friends. Dream Thief, Refusal of the Call. Bottom of the deck, Repairing the Veil, Forgiveness. You could be leaving a relationship. You could be uh, leaving a part. I can't speak, and there's something to that. Hmm. Oh, I just heard a line to a Pink Floyd song. Tongue tied and twisted. Just an earthbound misfit eye. Um, I don't know what that's for, but hmm. I, I I'm kind of getting I'm kind of getting that you were involved in something or I, I was getting ensnared in a situation and I feel like you are like you're just breaking away from that now it could be a mindset it could be something you were you know not wanting to take a look at it could be a relationship that's coming together finding your soul tribe but i'm getting from you sagittarius you're being very intentional so this could this could be another energy you're dealing with you might have friendships that just maybe even criticized your spiritual uh, practice or your beliefs. 
and you're like, you know what, if, if they can't come along on this ride, then I've got to say goodbye. They don't, they're not getting me. It, this is really unusual. Okay, so let's take a look at what you are being shown. Sagittarius, your journey, hopping in your SUV or car and being very intentional about where you end up. Psychic insights, seeing the unseen, a strong knowing, third eye activation. Ooh, I think you're having to trust your intuition in a situation. It's almost like um, you only see half of something and the rest will be revealed later. Reprieve, support and relief, finding peace, turning a corner. Anything else? Intimacy, deep connectedness, demonstrative, friends turned lovers. This could be about a relationship, may not be, but I'm kind of getting, you're evaluating who you are connected with and maybe disassociating with those who just aren't meant to stay. Chosen family, okay. So let's take a look at what is surfacing for you. Spiritual strength. That's the nine of wands energy in this deck. And I feel like there's something that has been difficult to overcome, but you're, you're not giving up on it. And this could just be the changes that are taking place in your life. Embracing that, being okay with it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That flew out with a bang, didn't it? All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands. That wanted to be seen. Recognition and reward. Okay, then we have the Emperor that came out with the Five of Pentacles and Temperance. There's your energy. All right, let's see what we've got here. Um, I do feel like there's a change of scenery. I'm, I'm kind of getting that. And um, I feel like it is with a willingness to say goodbye to or to um, to sacrifice something. I know we don't see the hanged man, but I'm kind of getting that um, whatever this change of scenery is, it's because you have put some hard work and effort into something, and it could very well be that you're willingly leaving it behind, leaving something else behind. It could be a home, something that you know, uh, perhaps you've invested a lot of time into. Um, maybe this is your home base, right? If, if you are uprooting, there could have a big impact. Um, there could be a big impact to home, money, something else. I'm getting something else and I'm not, I don't know what I'm feeling, but, but it feels to me like there's, there is a sacrifice of some sort. We have intuition at the bottom of the deck, heartache and loss, that's maybe what I'm picking up. Maybe it's just leaving behind a past. Hitting the reset button, look at that. And other people may be in your way. This is the five of wands energy, ace of wands, chariot. Yeah, you're hopping in your car. Um, so, it, you know, if this is friendships and these are relationships that have uh, been in your reason, See, I can't speak. There's something going on. Tongue tied and twisted. I'm, I promise you I'm fairly articulate. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, what I was, uh, now I forgot what I was gonna say. Friendships, yes. The, the people you are associated with, I feel like, I, I don't know, is this goodbye? Is this, um, you know, you realizing I need to surround myself with supportive people. It could all be 
you know, in reverse, if this is happening in the life of someone you're connected with. And I, I feel like whatever decision it is, there, there's a, a very powerful energy behind whoever this is representing. This is, this is the strength to make really difficult decisions. It's taking charge of a situation that might feel a little bit uncomfortable that is requiring the, the letting go of this or that, but that is feeling very necessary. Okay, I wanna look at this deck and get some clarifiers. The Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. This could be just, you know, fate, a new cycle. Something is closing out. Okay, this could be how you see yourself through the eyes of others, through friendships. Let's keep going. The Empress. Creativity. This could be, you know, of course, someone you're connected to. I just saw 1111. Whoa. The Sun in Reverse. I, you know, if this is you saying, I'm not happy. It's time for change. That's hitting you like a thunderbolt, like a brick. And I'm not getting that there is an abrupt exit, but there could be. I'm, I'm more so getting that this is about, you've been reeling from something. And in any situation or relationship, we can only take something as far as we can take it. And then we have to be met with you know, participation, reciprocity, and effort from the person on the other end of the equation or people, if it's about a group of people. It could be a family dynamic. And I, I feel like the very powerful realization is um, you're not happy. Something, something has to change, something has to give. And you might feel that within your friendship groups, your community, maybe, um, your family, like you're, you're morphing or changing that you don't even feel like you have the close and supportive relationships that you're craving. I, I'm curious about this ensnarement. I'm, I'm going to go there. Clarify jeweled web. You're under the control of others. I felt ensnared and there it is. And I don't think you like this. So I think you're trying to extricate yourself from whatever it is that has you um, immobilized or um, feeling as though, no, 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 I, I just, I can't do this. The past, the six of cups. Are you wanting to go back to your past? Are you wanting to return to someone or a group of people? Are you looking at, you know, the dynamic in a family? There's the tower again. Let's look at home, foundation, and achievements. What is that? Is this an evaluation of what is important to you? Now look at this, two of wands. Possibilities. You, you want more for yourself. You want more for your life. You are open to change, even if it means you, you know, move away. Hierophant, in this deck, no nothingness. Why? Because the Hierophant represents the things that we've come to believe and family and institutions are a strong influence. You're wiping it all clean. Let's look at your truth. Ace of Swords. <laughs> and there's the Hanged Man. Yep. Okay, we also have the Magician and Healing. So, um, yeah, this is, I, I'm, I'm wiping the slate clean. You might have your eye on someone, something, something that you know will bring you long-term happiness, Ten of Cups. I'm just feeling my way through where do, where do we need to go, and I'm, I'm hearing Emperor taking charge we have the empress and the emperor on the table this could be a significant energy in 
A divine connection doesn't have to be the burden. Six of Swords. Justice. Oh, it feels like a difficult energy. I mean, I'm almost getting you you make this decision and then um, I'm, I'm kind of getting like you, you disappear into this healing abyss, <laughs> right? Where you have nothing coming at you. It's just you in the universe. And I feel like this is sort of the reset that's happening. What is, what is this energy of temperance? Because I'm getting like a, 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 a something is being, um, reconfigured, modified. What is that? Temperance. Morality. Sticking out of the deck, we have intensity. Suppression. What is that? Death. Transformation. I'm telling you. I think that you have sat with something long enough. And this doesn't have to be your energy. It can be the energy of somebody in your life. It can just be a group dynamic. And you're like, I, do, I just don't resonate with that anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't serve me well. It even has, you know, maybe me questioning myself or others questioning me. What is the driver of all this, Spirit? What is the, the number one motivator? Wow. The miser. And this, this can literally be, you know, someone who's holding on to everything they have. It can be lack mentality. It can be an energy of greed or um, amassing wealth. It can be people who give and people who don't give. It, it just... To me, miser is holding back, um, not contributing. And if what you have seen around you doesn't give back in a way that, you know, fills your cup or nurtures you, six of cups, right? This is how we envision relationships, love, or a deep intimacy with others. And if you feel that's not there, you're going to you're going to let go and explore possibilities. Now, this could be in a love relationship. This can simply be friendships. But I think I think you are ready to go through this massive change because like you're sitting in this this I I'm just kind of hearing like this empty abyss. Whoa. Okay. What is spirit showing you? Um, I'm hearing both decks for your advice. What is Sagittarius being shown? Thank you. Could this represent a willingness to let go of something that you've held on to? That's another way I look at that. It, this could also apply in reverse if this is someone you're connected to. Have faith in your dreams. Don't let pride get in your way. Be bold and make the first move. Wow, it's time to release negativity and from this deck. Advice for Sagittarius, please. Honesty, the worst truth is better than the best lie. Your person is struggling and needs your compassion and understanding at this time. Lean on the divine for guidance. That's a, that feels so apropos for what's going on here because I feel like there's some big change afoot. I do. You've been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else. What about you? Look at that. And the universe is communicating to you through signs and synchronicities. Note what you're doing or thinking about when they appear. Bottom of the deck, everything happens for a reason. You will soon understand why. 
I feel a major judgment call happening in whatever this situation is. And, you know, if, if you are having to kind of stand up against people who refuse to, let's say, like do the right thing in a situation, um, this could be really difficult. You could be under some scrutiny for something. If, if this feels like, it feels like it rocks your world because it hits really close to home. That's kind of what I'm getting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to sit with this because I'm not sure if spirit has a continuation of this message over in the, uh, the world of extended readings in Vimeo. So I'm going to sit with this. If I choose to extend it, the link will be below Sag, but I hope you found this helpful. Hang in there. Um, you know, the decision to do it is like step one, right? So, um, yeah, if the link is below, I've chosen to extend it. I will see you in the next video. Take care.